other one so there's not much battery left because I was uploading some files of homework to the computer and I didn't bother on transferring it to the... what I'm talking about anyways it's Friday but it doesn't even really feel like Friday because I have been on break all week and um, there's not much battery left have I talked about that already? Yes, and uh, what else? <sighs> Feeling kind of tired. Um, I don't know how you guys are. Um, it's just that sometimes I have to wash a brush. I get like very overwhelmed. This, this video is going nowhere. extremely overwhelmed when I go on Facebook and I see I have five messages and like messages accumulate really quickly and I just don't want to see any of them it's kind of like avoiding which I do really often and I know it's bad but just like it just piles up so much I don't want to talk to anyone sometimes I just need some space alone with myself you know I don't know I'm just feeling extremely antisocial lately which is kind of bad but not even focused on anything. It's been kind of rough. I don't even know why. Something's weird. I've got some great hopes for this tree right here that I just planted. It was awesome out of that pot into here. So I've been planting trees all morning with the company called Evergreen. And I've never planted trees before, so it was a really awesome experience. And I planted a few trees. One kind of looked like a Christmas tree, which was cool. Um, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Just this just ran upstairs, um, but it was raining as every day in this city. So my hair is completely wet, but kind of like it's a little curly, which you kind of like. But now I'm gonna go shower, and surprisingly, none of my eyeliner or anything started smudging, which is cool. Which means I should wear gel liners at waterproof situations, which is good to know. See, like it's all stayed very well. And even the eyeshadow I'm wearing stayed. Lips are pretty much, lipstick is pretty much gone because I've been eating. Um, had chicken soup when I came home because it was really cold and like my whole shirt and my jacket was all muddy and disgusting. Um, but it was so much fun and I really enjoyed it. Just pulling out poison ivy and English ivies, I think. Himalaya berry which is supposed to be, it's not a natural species, so we have to kick it out because we need to have natural species. I really, really dig this hair, hair thing with hair, <laughs> if you know what I mean, because I don't really know what I mean. Um, anyways, today I think there's some people coming over, my parents' friends are coming over, so we'll probably have a little feast, as normal people have feasts. Um, yeah, I also want to watch V for Vendetta. Sorry I don't have any footage of yesterday. I think I took a little bit of footage yesterday and I filmed of me like talking like this. And then I deleted it because I was not pleased with the results. So I have my little stars as my... We watched Avengers again last night. I've watched that movie twice in the theaters because it was so funny. Um, it was still funny like the third time. I still really like it. It's just a feel-good film. Like, come on. You feel all patriotic and stuff because even though they're Americans and they're in New York, it's just an awesome, awesome film. Um, I can't wait for the second one. You have to wait three more years. Can you believe it? Three more years. Hopefully I can, like, be an extra in, in the second one or something. That'd be so cool. 
we'll see what happens and then we've still got three more years to go um, I'm wearing a shirt that's kind of volunteer-ish um, I did the volunteer last year I think at an ice rink for a hockey game that was really fun so I'm gonna go I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday I will see you probably in a little bit or tomorrow bye hey so I saw the cloud atlas today and I wanted to put my two cents into this whole thing because I've seen quite a few reviews online after I watched a movie and just to get an idea of if people liked it and like generally and most people did love it and well when I watched it there's quite a few problems because Kyle Atlas is basically trying to be in innovative and trying new things and trying to step out of boundaries and I really respect them for doing that and it's an independent film with a huge budget. Um, I thought the acting was really really great. Tom Hanks obviously knows what he's doing. He's really great in it and um, Halle Berry is good. Um, the Asian girl is really good. Um, Q from Skyfall, I can't, I don't know what his name is, but he is super cute and adorable. Um, but they, I have quite a few problems with the film. First of all, six stories in, don't run out of battery please, six stories in two hours is quite, when you spread it out a little bit, it's so like around, not even 30 minutes for each story, which means it's a lot of substance in one movie and they tried too hard to squeeze it in and also what I don't like is that good demons and I think like the concept of evil and good demons should not be apparent it should not have a face it should be something inside of somebody and it should be you know like mm, how should I say this it's more like it should be like an inner thing not like a you don't give that a face you don't you know use makeup or something to give it a face. I just I think it's super tacky and unenjoyable. Um, but other than that, I really like the graphics. I thought it was a... it's really cool and I know it's by... I guess it's by a few people from The Matrix because they use the bad guy from The Matrix. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you that, but I'm pretty sure it's in the trailer. You can totally see... I think you can. But also, you do not give an Asian person freckles. That is just awkward. For all of us and I think you don't you just don't try to make a white person look Asian because no matter how hard you try to make them look Asian and give them like single eyelids and you know flat out their face basically it just kind of look awkward and demented and I know you're trying to make a point that they're Asian but I don't know maybe try CGI or try something else because honestly the makeup was quite distracting and I was just trying to figure out what Tom Hanks was supposed to do with his face um, and other also the other people as well so I don't think that was cool at all even though I know like I don't know how you could change that and how you could you know basically make that person look still kind of like themselves but in another ethnic um, but I think people who have read the book would love this movie because it just brings the book to life basically and I can see how with a little bit of more background information and more substance on each character it would make it such a better film. But I mean I get the idea how you know every choice you make it affects each every one in the end and you know and how like I, I do like the revolution stuff um kind of reminded me of Tron a little bit also the Matrix a little bit um there are a few funny parts which I thought was good um it was, it's really graphic I gotta warn you it's it's surprisingly graphic and then first when I watched the trailer I thought wow that could be like the next avatar but no it's not the next avatar you do not walk out of the theater thinking wow what did I just watch that it was more like oh it's over now um and I know a lot of people liked it and a lot of people loved it but I just I am honestly a little bit disappointed but I mean what can I say um 
it's just a very messy like you don't really know what's going on most of the time just because it's it shifts from each scene very quickly and you you're not very attached to the character yet and it's already to the next story and uh, I give it three out of five if you haven't watched Skyfall I'd recommend that over this one because I think more demographics would like Skyfall. However, um, I saw another point on Collider.com saying that you should be supporting Cloud Atlas simply because it is an independent film and if it doesn't meet its budget. I think it has met its budget, but like the more popular it gets, the more power independent films will have, which means that it wouldn't be like very mainstream, so it's like a hipster's dream come true. But you know what, I'm glad I watched it, but it wasn't like something I would recommend people to go watch, which is kind of mean to say, but I thought Tom Hanks did a phenomenal, phenomenal job at being, you know, six characters, and I really liked Q, and I think he will become a very great actor in a couple of years. I think he's going to blow up unproportionately. Um, he's super cute, and yeah, the makeup is really distracting. And oh, another point I want to point out is that if I can tell that you're using music to dictate my emotions, I will be completely unimpressed because it's just you know like you can't be, you can't be. Like, I, I was slightly unhappy because I could tell that I was getting nervous because the music was getting super quick. And I don't think that's how a film should be. And an artistic film, like, okay, so basically, like, in The Dark Knight, there was parts that are exciting, but the music was very calm. And that contrast just makes it so good. But when you do, like, when you try too hard, basically, it just becomes nasty and not cool. Um, yeah, I really want to watch Argo and Silver Lining Playbook, but I don't know if I have time for them, possibly in a few weeks. Um, yeah, I will be writing a review on Cloud Atlas on my blog, which will not be, you know, the most positive, unfortunately. Um, but that's just my personal opinion on the film, and, you know, it's no Avatar, I gotta say, it's no Avatar. It's it's different, but you know they try harder next time. I mean, I'm still open to your company and more films that you're gonna make in the future, but not this one. And I also went to my cup and got hot chocolate. It was really really good. Um, it's really good to catch up with Shalene and you know talk about life in general. Um, yeah. So that's all, and I got a pack for tomorrow. And, you know, take off my makeup and everything. I really like my makeup today, actually. Just using this Revlon palette. This color right here. Uh, over the lids, and it's all bronzy. And I got still a really red, really red, burnt red lip, which looked, I think it looked phenomenal. And, yeah. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I am now in school, um, and I don't think I filmed anything today, sorry, I was really busy all day. It's, it would spin a really horrible day. It's actually national or international have a bad day day, and I think I had a pretty bad day. Completely missed my first class, which I was so excited to go to, I just missed it. And then choir was just mediocre. And I'm starving, but it's really late. And I don't want to make dinner, so I'm eating these delicious mint things. They're really good. And now I have to study really hard for my quiz tomorrow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Butter chicken sauce with potatoes and rice. Frozen vegetable medley with rice and too much garlic powder, so it's tasting super, super spicy. I should be doing homework, but I'm only gonna rest while I eat. Smoothie that's delicious, bananas and 
cherry tomatoes and I have some salty almonds and some vinegar chips. Since it's ra raining, <laughs> raining, raining a little bit, um, I'm gonna wear my semi waterproof jacket from Esprit and reapply my lipstick and go study really, really hard. And I hope you guys are studying really, really hard because I'm studying so hard that I've gained weight. I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but I've gained weight and it's really sad. And I just went to the gym and it was really awesome. Hello guys. So I have a few things to talk about before I leave and go on the big boat and go home and initiate my little, which is really exciting because, you know, you only do that a few times if you're in a sorority or only once in my case. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading very much footage lately and I haven't been uploading like onto YouTube lately because I've had a very be busy, busy week busy week with school and everything and it's all my fault of course because I haven't been doing anything during reading break it was just like a relaxation time and that really caught up on me and I had to do lots of lots of catching up and trying to get my work in management I mean not management but managed well <laughs> I I don't think I'm gonna go into management if you were wondering anyways so and I've also not been feeling very well lately it's just the weather and stress and all that bad stuff and I've been eating badly so I didn't want to show you guys because it's not a positive influence you guys so why show you guys and I know that's almost like censoring but you know I get to choose what you watch and if you if you watch my videos of course it's the part that I pick up pick and you know show you guys because they are the parts that I consider more important than the other ones where I'm talking about nothing or nonsense and what's my point here um, I will be uploading this hopefully tonight if not tomorrow for sure because I will be um, editing it on a ferry or on the big boat because and if I finish it beforehand I'll have time to you know talk with my sisters and stuff like that my sorority sisters I'm an only child fact of the day <laughs> um, yes uh, mainland babies from China don't really have brothers or sisters that is another fact of the day I'd say more than 90% of my generation do not have any siblings and it's due to the one-child policy which it has its pros and cons, but I feel like having more children would be a human right, but that's my personal opinion. There are, you know, and is there anything else? No, I'm just wearing a Zara hoodie and some pants. <laughs> of course I'm wearing pants. And that's about it. Now I'm going to pack and go. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.